At this point, can, are you prepared to admit that you had no intention of keeping your promise to the Canadian people in 2019, in, in 2015, when you promised the budget would be balanced next year? It's a challenge when, when someone hasn't had experience in managing a balance sheet or, in fact, managing anything of any substance. When everyone is paying attention to America or the UK and their terrible, terrible police force. It's a really big benefit for Canadian politicians. A lot of stuff goes unnoticed or gets swept under the rug on both sides. So here's an update into what's happening in Canada right now. No. No more God's plan, Drake. No more. This isn't about you. So the first thing is that liberals are trying to pass new gun legislation, and it didn't exactly start the way Justin Trudeau wanted. This tweet is a great example of how things are going for the Canadian government right now. Jesus. If you talk to people casually about politics around here, you get about two sentences between each other and then you just sort of move on. But it's never Justin Trudeau is doing a great job or I heart hashtag love hashtag hath Kathleen Wynne hashtag I heart Kathleen Wynne. It's usually the exact opposite. And it, and it should be. Taxes are sky high. Everything costs so much right now. And minimum wage was raised for seemingly no reason besides wanting to please teenagers, it caused prices to go up and it caused a lot of people to lose their jobs. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. We're trying, we are trying to be serious here, Drake. And of course, with all this, with us not having any money in our provinces of Ontario, they're looking to make money anywhere they can, so gas prices are still going up. Realistically though, I would pay just about anything for that sweet, minty fresh taste of petrol. Okay, are we clear here, guys? Yeah, but how can you tell which is the Supreme? What are you, stupid? You fucking taste it. Unleaded tastes a little tangy. Supreme is kind of sour, and diesel tastes pretty good. Our environment minister, like, totally doesn't even want to talk to you if you don't believe in climate change. And they're still using this claim, climate deniers, for anyone who has questions about it. But realistically, nobody really is denying climate change. We want to know where the money is going and why we're being taxed. It seems like it's just a way for them to make money and pay off debts. And if we have any questions about it and we don't agree, just agree with them, it's like, shut up, we don't want to listen to you. Uh, emissions went down from 738 megatons to 722, so I wish you would use the correct facts when she makes statements like, like that, while at the same time under our government, most environmental indicators in this country improved. I should advise the minister that if you're talking about the environment, using numbers uh, is what actually counts. The numbers, Mason. What are they? What do they mean? What do you want from me? You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. I have a very specific question regarding the $50 carbon tax. How much will Canada's e e emissions, and I want a number here, how much will Canada's emissions be reduced under a $50 a ton carbon tax? Um, each, as I said, it's important to understand that putting a price on pollution is part of our broader climate plan. We believe in numbers, so we spent a lot of time modeling. We also worked closely with provinces and territories. And with each province and territory, the number? they are, each province and territory what is, is the different. Number? Mason, the numbers, what are they? What do they mean? And they are taking, you know, they are the ones who are implementing the system that's consistent with, uh, with our, uh, our benchmark. Um, and as I say, 80% of Canadians live uh, in a jurisdiction where there's price on what pollution. What is the number of the re reduction? And the good news is that all the jurisdictions that have a price on pollution, the four provinces, Alberta, BC, Ontario, and Quebec, are the okay. fastest growing provinces in the country. So it's great to see okay, that you so, can so, put a so, price on what you don't want so pollution so clearly, you can grow your economy. Quite clearly, the minister is simply unable to provide a num number, which is clearly ridiculous. When I ran the environmental program at a paper mill, we installed a wastewater treatment plant and we knew exactly how water quality would improve because of the installation of that plant. So what you're telling ca Canadians here, they will be asked to pay a $50 carbon tax, probably increasing over time, and there is absolutely no measurement of what the environmental effect will be. That's basically what I'm hearing. But really. Liberals and the NDPs are really just crashing and burning and everything's falling apart for them. And really the 
Conservatives just need to sit there and watch and not screw everything up and they'll find themselves in office very soon. Take a look at the recent polls, even though, of course, you can't really trust polls, but when you get them consistently, consistently, they are a decent indicator of what some people are thinking. And right now, there's been some huge swings in 2018. I mean, if you look at this poll, Justin Trudeau is losing the people that he had, especially women. Women not wanting to vote for Justin Trudeau is huge. I guess his looks just aren't doing it anymore. Something else I think people are noticing across the board, not just in Canada, is that it only seems to go one way when somebody insults somebody or says something wrong. It gets pounced on by the media, and I guess to a degree it should, but when it happens from a liberal or a democrat or something like that, it kind of just gets swept off, and we're not supposed to take it offensively. I mean, I personally don't take it offensively, but if you're going to set these guidelines and these um, standards to live by, then you're going to have to live up to them yourself, and you're going to have to face the music when you say things like this. At this point, can are you prepared to admit that you had no intention of keeping your promise to the Canadian people in 2019, in, in 2015, when you promised the budget would be balanced next year. It's a challenge when, when someone hasn't had experience in managing a balance sheet or, in fact, managing anything of any substance. Isn't this just a way to get a woman's vote? Isn't that what this is all about? We will drag along the Neanderthals who don't agree with that, and uh, that will be our continuing approach. Well, I'm Mr. not a Neanderthal. So, Lastly, a lot of reports have come out over the last year of people coming into Canada legal, illegally from the United States. They're even getting safe passage from cab companies to get to the border because once they get here, they get housing until their hearing happens, which could be weeks, months, even years. But now they're actually being sent back to the U.S. who's deporting them much faster. People are actually learning that it's not as easy to get into Canada as they once thought. In fact, 10% or just under of 15,000 Haitians who are trying to get asylum in Canada are only allowed to stay. So over 90% of people are being pushed away. And now they're being pushed back in the United States where they're coming from and they're pretty much deporting them right away. They don't get to stay while they're waiting to see their hearing in the States. They just send them away. So it's not as easy for people to just come to Canada as much as they would like to tell you it is. But I wonder, who could have told them that this was a possibility? Who? Once again, this is Andrew Says. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe hit that bell somewhere up here if you'd like so you get notifications of me. And remember, I wouldn't lie to you. Except for maybe this once. I don't wanna die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gon' tell the story shit with me.